Lesson 16.1a, we're in a new module all about data. We're going to do measures of center finding the mean. A measure of center is a single number used to describe a set of numeric data. One measure of center is the mean. The mean, or average, of a data set is the sum of the data values divided by the number of data values in the set. Now, if that sounds confusing, let's figure this out. We have one, two, three, four, five numbers in this set. We add the numbers as add-ins. We get a sum of 35. Then we divide it by that amount, 5. We have 35 is the sum. There were five numbers. We divide it by five. That's seven. Our mean, or average, is seven. We can model finding the mean of a data set. So Tala read two books in March. She read four books in April, two in May, three in June, and four books in July. We put a counter in each month for each book she read that month. Now we rearrange the counters so that each month has the same amount of counters. So we can put this one over here, and we can put this one over here. Now they each have the same number of counters. Each month now has three counters. This value is the mean. Three is the mean. This model shows how the mean evens out the data values. And the most she read in one month was 4. So the mean cannot be greater than 4 because the data is evened out. Any month that had a lesser amount got one of those 4. It evened it out, so they're all 3. The mean, or average, is 3. And we can use numbers to calculate the mean. We know in March it was 2, April it was 4, May it was 2, June it was 3, and July it was 4. We use these numbers as add-ins, they equal 15, and we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers that we added. The mean is the sum of the data values, the 15, divided by the number of data values. We had 5. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. We know Tala read a mean of 3 books for those months, an average of 3 books for those months. It's telling us to find the mean of this set of values. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers now. There's 6 numbers in this set. We total them as add-ins and we get 120. So the mean is going to be equal to that sum of the data set, that 120, divided by the number of data values. We had 6 in the set. Our mean is 20. We add the numbers, then divide the sum by the amount of numbers that we added. The numbers in the data set don't need to be in order from least to greatest to find their mean. The commutative property of addition states that we can add in any order and we'll get the same sum. To find the mean, we just need the sum. Then we divide the sum by the quantity of add-ins we used to get that sum. Okay, we finished that. We're going to move on to the next part. We're going to find the median. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.